Could this be the restricted section Lisa mentioned? Hmm, doesn't quite feel like it, though. You don't think this place is hiding some terrible secret, do you? Like those rooms you always hear about in scary stories? You know, the ones that are usually totally off-limits? That's true. We just kind of waltzed in here. And it didn't seem like the lock had been broken or anything. Wait, hang on a minute. This isn't the door we came in through. Are we even in the library anymore? You think? Wow, that's pretty impressive, building all this under the lake. Wait, no, that's ridiculous. No way is that where we are. Hmm, too bad Lisa's not working today, otherwise we could ask her. Well, we're here anyhow, and this place doesn't look too dangerous. Why don't we just take a look around? New places are meant for exploring, after all. You gotta try all kinds of new things to become a good and experienced guide. Traveler, you dare enter this fortress of doom without invitation? Prepare to be eaten alive! We should probably just leave it here for now. This place is huge, so let's keep on exploring!
been waiting here for the longest time and nobody came. I was only planning to rest my eyes for a bit, but the sofa was so comfy, uh, I guess I dozed off. Ah, a tiki talk! Sure can. Talking is one of the things I can do. All right, so... Ah, yes. Introductions are in order, aren't they? Greetings, my dear guests. My name is... Uh... Wait, what's my name? Uh, not sure we can help you with that one, buddy. Guess you were in a pretty deep sleep, huh? Seems like you're still waking up. Huh? Really? We're just messing with you. <laughs> anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Okay, great, that went well. At least this mysterious room doesn't rob everyone of their memories. I must apologize. I must have slept for so long that I can't remember what's real and what's a dream anymore. I did have a lot of dreams while I was asleep. Okay, concentrate. Uh, Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, the current me is a concierge in charge of attending to any guests that find themselves here. Ah, yes, you may call me Wolfie. Okay, but... If all you can remember are your dreams, what makes you think any of them are real experiences? They're just products of your imagination, right? You mean, if it comes from my imagination, it can't be real life? Huh. Well, it sounds like you know more about that kind of thing than I do. I can't tell the difference at all. I remember a time when a horrid curse was put on me. My heart was cased in unmelting ice, and I had to spend my days in agonizing solitude surrounded by nothing but boundless tundra. I also remember playing with White Fang in the misty forest. We chased golden butterflies, waded through rushing streams, and shattered the very moon beneath our feet. 
And I'll never forget marching in that celebratory procession with the other troops, being showered in confetti as I excitedly waited for Her Majesty the Queen to bestow her honor upon me. <sighs> it was glorious. To me, all these events are indistinguishable from real experiences. Take my latest dream, for instance. I remember being in a garden of forking paths, and Madame Mage said to me, From now on, you are a concierge. Be sure to treat your guests well. Then I found myself here. And like I said, I waited and waited and waited. And now, finally, two guests have arrived. At last, I can fulfill my duty. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Yeah, and who is this Madam Mage? Is she really just a figure from your dream? Seems like there could be more to it than just that. Well, Madam Mage is Madam Mage. Just as you, dear guests, are guests. She and her friends, uh, oh yes, and they're all mages too. Uh, each one of them is a master of their own type of magic. Conjuring, illusions, and so on. One of them uses a quill pen to cast her spells. She has a very mysterious ink bottle that contains fantasy truth. I had a little taste when she wasn't looking, and oh my goodness was it bitter. Blech. But the other mages all love her magic. They use their powers of creation to transform her fantasy truth into true fantasy. How do they do that? I haven't the slightest idea. I'm just a toy with stuffing for brains. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Yeah, what is this place? We came in here through this one door in the library, but we were never able to open it before. Ah, well, congratulations on your successful entry, dear guests. This is a special room, one that can only be accessed by those who are invited. Seeing as you two have this privilege, you can invite your friends to enter as well. On that note, I'd better tidy up this place as quickly as possible. Oh, and I should prepare some tea and snacks too. You don't mind if they're on the sweeter side, do you? Of course not! Wait, before we get ahead of ourselves, mind telling us where we are exactly? Are we even still in Mondstadt? Hmm, that is a difficult question. Madam Mage created this room using magic, and I don't know magic. Still, you have my guarantee as concierge that this is a safe and comfortable place. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Yes, I saw! You were magnificent! I was completely enraptured by your performance! What do you mean, performance? Well, Madame Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. I'm sure only the most distinguished of guests are able to take the stage as the story's protagonist and put on a show as spectacular as yours. What a thrilling battle! Yes, that's what every story needs to spice things up. Naturally, those are the kinds of stories I love reading the most. I wonder what would make a good title for a book about your magnificent performance. Should we call it a saga? An epic? A tale of conquest? A chronicle of combat? Ah, <sighs> choices, choices. In any case, I do hope you will be so kind as to indulge us with more of your fine performances. In fact, scratch that. I'm afraid I shall have to insist. The story of the present is waiting to be written, and you, dear guests, are the ones to fill its pages. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? This place is getting more confusing by the second, but... Wolfie seems alright, so we should be fine, right? Besides... Our goal is to set foot in every corner of Tevac, and the courage to boldly go where others dare not to tread is what will take us there! Wow, what a wonderful line! Spoken like a true adventurer! You bet! We're the real deal! Is that so? Well then, I'd better make sure I do my duty as concierge of this place. I hope this can be somewhere for you to rest and recuperate when you're weary, so that you can embark on your next adventure refreshed and renewed. Come back here any time if you get tired. I'll be sure to take good care of you.
Want me to come along? The wind knows them. Clouds high. The birds. Kill! 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 Evil winds shoot on sight into the shadows. I'm afraid I still have some work to do before everything is ready. Thank you for your patience, my dear guests. If you'd like, you can take the stage and perform once more. There'll be toy medals waiting for you in treasure chests afterwards. I rarely encounter opportunities to rest mid-journey. During battle, slowing down is even more out of the question. However, given that this is not a solo operation, I will go along with what you think is best. In any case, this is an acceptable place for a brief period of respite. Thanks for inviting me here. If there's nothing too urgent that needs your attention, why not take a seat and relax for a bit? I'll make you some tea. Oh, don't mention it. It's nothing, really. I'd hate to see anyone who needs my care tiring themselves out too much. During my days as a wanderer, if I came upon a beautiful view and was feeling in a poetic mood, I'd stop to compose a few lines. I once thought about writing an anthology of my poems and leaving it on a shelf so I could share with others the way I felt when my eyes first met those wonderful sights. But when I looked back at the drivel I'd written, I gave up on the idea. I'm sure other travelers will get that same sense of peace from the natural world as I did if it's meant to be. Traveler from another world, you have the princess's permission to enjoy a brief moment of peace. But be ready, for once I have peered into this dark dominion and beheld the treachery within. 
I shall rain down thundering retribution upon this place. And when the curtain of doom falls, thou shalt give it thy full undivided attention. Did you? No turning back! Stand with me! 
This is where you fall. Our bond is strong by royal decree. Bravo! Bravo! Another spellbinding performance! Are you interested in learning any new thespian tricks? By which I mean dashing and elegant poses. In fact, what would you say to a friendly exchange? I'll teach you some thespian tricks in return for toy medals from the treasure chests. Friendship is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Ah, just the word itself gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling in my heart and my stomach. Oh, for the love of... Please don't tell Paimon you're thinking about emergency food again! We're talking about friendship here, okay? Paimon will never understand why that's where your head goes. Anyway, are you sure you're okay with just toy medals? What could they be worth if they're just toys? As long as you believe, even toy medals can be more valuable than gold. That is the magic of imagination. Madam Mage told me that. I can't say I entirely understand what she meant, but... The thespian tricks, I actually got those from a wish I made to Madam Mage. So long as she thinks it's a fair trade, I think it should be fine. Hmm, sounds kinda ominous. Don't a lot of scary stories start out that way? You make a reckless wish to a wicked witch, but you end up regretting it when she forces you to pay an impossible price in return? I believe you're misunderstanding the situation, dear guest. There is absolutely nothing to fear. To start with, mages are quite different from wicked witches. And besides, I already told you what the price is. It's the toy medals. There's no catch. And you're sure about that? Yes, completely. In any case, I was the one who made the wish. So if someone has to end up paying an impossible price, just leave it to me. I enjoy watching your performances, so it's well worth it as far as I'm concerned. Hmm... I wonder how many blank pages are left in this book. Ah, but not to worry. Even if we run out of space, new blank pages will be added very soon. <sighs> I do look forward to the day when all empty pages are filled with stories. As a general, I must never break under pressure. I must remain calm and composed at all times and respond diligently to the changing situation on the battlefield, adjusting my strategy and cautiously redeploying my troops as necessary. As long as everyone works together towards victory, victory is possible even in the most difficult of battles. Today, the task of planning the operation falls to you. 
You may use my experience as a reference, if you find it useful. Hmm. Those who lurk within this place are but lowly pawns, the last remnants of the usurper's army. By the time the princess and the Ertalung stands before them, my bolts of downfall will have long since severed their ties with the forces of fate. My subjects will surely sing their songs of praise, but to the princessin, this is but one more triumph to add to the annals. Hmm. I think I'll read a little before the next battle begins. Please refrain from recommending something like a newspaper. I recognize that short-form articles may be a fitting choice, considering the limited amount of time at our disposal. But they're simply not to my taste. Uh, don't be too weirded out if you see me with my mask off while we rest. I'm just getting some fresh air. This place is way too idle. It gets to you after a while. <sighs> Gotta take some deep breaths. Not that I'm rushing you, of course. I'll wait until you've made your preparations in full. You called? Here! 
Next assault! Worthless! Tear! Worthless! Useless! Truth repeats it! Think you can get away? Here we go! Glory to the Shogun! I know that many of the younger generations see me as a sort of legendary figure. Why, my stories and my accomplishments can even be found in Kosharawar textbooks. But it does seem that people aren't quite used to having a legend living among them. No one takes my courses or pays attention to my research. Even securing research funding can be a struggle. If I were lucky enough to have one of my predecessors here in the flesh, I'd be waiting on her hand and foot. Serving her tea, massaging her shoulders, asking her all sorts of questions. <sighs> what happened to this generation? Where is their inquisitiveness? Where is their respect? There's a lot of fascinating stories in these books. Don't be put off by the dusty old pages. Give them a chance, and in the blink of an eye, these tales will waft into the air to the sound of the lyre and blend into the sweetness of the breeze. Pick a story you like. Let's try it out. The legacy of the Yakshas lives on in the historical records that tell our tales. Still, that brings no solace to me or my late comrades. <sighs> but watching the shell lanterns rise into the sky during the lantern rite... That is what brings me peace. To me, battle signifies a duty and responsibility that cannot be shirked. But I do cherish the times when there is a brief lull in the fighting. I use this time to hone my skills through training. Right now, I intend to engage in a kind of training known as rest and recovery, which consists of five sets of deep breaths.
Stay close and you will live. Let the wind lead. I'll bring my seasonings! You... you want me on your team? Into the wind! Everybody stand back! Fallen leaves, adorn my knight! There is no escape! Fire hazard! The wind knows me! Shine down! It's fine. Into the wind. Illusion shattered. As one with wind and cloud. I'm going in. Adventure. Feels a slit. Lucky day! Fallen leaves. Adorn my everybody stand! Shine down! Let's light it up! Run with nature! Now you shall perish! There is no escape! Teamwork is dream! Clouds high! The birds come! Let's light it up! Torn to oblivion! It's not often that I have the chance to take a rest before the battle is truly over. I keep asking myself, can I really afford to take a rest yet? And if there are still monsters that have not yet been vanquished, the answer is no. I cannot stop now. You'd like to join me in a moment of meditation? Oh, all right. Close your eyes. Now. Join me in turning your gaze inward, to the deepest part of your being. If it's okay with you, I think we should check all the pillars in this room, just to make sure they're sturdy. If I spend too long in one place, sooner or later, accidents happen. It's not me I'm worried about. But if I'm gonna keep on adventuring with you, we gotta make sure everybody else is safe. Uh. Uh. Woo! You sure don't need to worry about me getting bored here. I am spoiled for choice with all these books. I hardly know where to start. Huh. I want to memorize all the interesting parts so I can go back and tell them to my friends. 
Oh, right. That's another thing I meant to ask. Which of these books do you recommend? I want to know what kind of stories you're into. There are many reasons why a samurai might draw their blade, but the principle is always the same. To do what they know in their heart is right. Though we walk a perilous path where powerful foes face us at every turn, and though I cannot sense what lies at its end, I tread onwards with no fear in my heart. My mind is at ease, for I tread this path in your company. with an elder, huh? Ready to do my utmost. Blade bear. 
Thank you. 